anything that I could have imagined the film to have looked like just from reading the script. Pale in comparison to the actual life that Luke was breathed into this project. Action! Luke is a movie maker. And if you enjoy making movies, you'll enjoy Luke. Very impressive man. Writer, director. The last shot of Mr. Morgan! Very easygoing, great sense of humor. I think he could produce financially his films on his own, but I think he likes having someone with an exterior eye that can come in, give him points of view. I think we're a good team. The most interesting thing about working with Luke is that he's the cameraman. He's a director that knows precisely every little atom on his frame. One more, just for fun. Mais au troisième boom, c'est la panique. He's a formidable type of character because he knows what he sees in his mind and wants that vision to be executed perfectly. And you can see that in the way that he operates the camera and how he speaks with myself and the other actors. But I appreciate that in a director. It's my baby. You know, I love it. So I want to try to do my best everywhere. And I like to be very close to the actors. That's why I have the camera on shoulder. I don't cut. And they appreciate that a lot because all this part before action is where they have to prep. And if they have to do that every 30 seconds, it's just exhausting for them. Especially with Scarlett, she is amazing. Every time she has scenes with emotion and it needs to come, everybody was there, but the only two where we're looking at each other, it was her and me. And you just feel that she's ready. And you just want to be here for her. You just want to say, oh, she's ready, let's go. I don't feel pain, fear, desire. It's like all things that make us human are fading away. All this knowledge about everything. I don't know what to do with it. I'll be at your door in 12 hours. What if there was a way of accessing 100% of our brain? What might we be capable of?